crochet and today we are making this top which I've called the Chloe tabard um, because I designed it for my niece who is called Chloe. Simple as that really. Um, it's a really lovely simple top made um, in long rows. We leave a space for the neckline and we make the entire um, body of it in one piece. So it's really lovely and straightforward to do. And it comes in sizes extra small through to 5XL for adults. And I've also sized it for children as well, uh, but a slightly shorter version for children. So you can wear it as a fitted top. You can go a few sizes up and wear it as a, uh, a, a loose overgarment. You can make a tie to put around the middle. You can do anything you like with it. It's really lovely and versatile. So what will we need? We will need some yarn. So for this version, I'm using Lion Brand Heartland yarn, which is um, a worsted weight yarn. And so you get 230 meters or 251 yards in these five ounces. So um, it's a slightly different, don't, don't get caught out by the slightly different ball size because normally they come in 100 grams. So if you're substituting your yarn, just watch out for that there. And it's 100% acrylic. It's a really nice yarn to work with. and comes in beautiful colors. Um, I'll put all the details below of the quantities that you'll need for each different size. You'll also need a crochet hook and this is a 4.5 millimeter G plus furls crochet hook but you'll just need to work a gauge swatch and make sure that you've got the right size hook for you to meet the gauge. All the details of that are in the pattern and the pattern is available um, to purchase from my stores so I'll put the link below so you can find out where to go and grab it. You'll also need a pair of scissors and a needle for your ends and also perhaps a couple of stitch markers if you like using them because there are certain points perhaps for the armhole shaping that it might be useful to pop stitch markers in. So let's get going. Right then, to begin our top, we are going to make a very long chain. Depending on which size you are making, uh, you'll need to have a check in the pattern. But for this tutorial, we're going to make the size small from the adults, the adult version. So we're going to pop a slip knot on our hook and we are going to chain 190. So I'm a great fan of um, foundation stitches, but as you'll see when we work the first row, foundation stitches wouldn't work terribly well for this. So I'm afraid it is a chain, <laughs> a lot of stitches, and then we'll work back into them. So go for it, work your chain of however many it tells you for the size that you're making, and then I'll meet you back here and we'll work the next row together. Right, so we have a great big long chain now. And what we're going to begin to do, we're going to turn it so that we can work into the back bumps. I always prefer to work into the back bumps, especially when you're making garments because they just make everything look much, much neater. We are going to work an extended half double crochet in the second chain from the hook. So not this next chain that we see here, but in this next chain here. So an extended um, half double crochet, if, if you've never worked it before, is just yarn over and pop through as if you're going to make a normal half double crochet. Pull your yarn through, and then you're going to yarn over and pull through just one, and that's the extended part of it. And then you'll yarn over and pull through all three. So that's an extended half double crochet, and we're going to use that an awful lot during this garment. And then what we're next going to do is work an extended half double crochet in the next 63 stitches. Uh, so working in the back bump again, we're going to pop into there, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through just one, and then yarn over and pull through all three. And we need to now work that uh, for as many as it tells you for your size, because obviously the size that I'm making will be different numbers to the one that you're making perhaps. So do check in the pattern and make sure that you've got the right number for you. And then when you've worked the right amount of stitches, these extended stitches that the pattern tells you, uh, we will meet back together and I'll show you how we do the armhole shaping for this first row. So there are the 64 extended half double crochets that we need. And now we are ready to do some shaping for our armhole. So what we're going to do is we're going to work a slip stitch. We're still going to go into these back bumps and we're going to pop a slip stitch into the next 61 back bumps. Now it's 61 for my size, but again, do check for your size because this is what dictates the size of your armhole. So 
61 slip stitches into this back loop or back bump of each of those chains. And now the key with these slip stitches is to make sure they're not too tight. If you make these too tight on the past the next row, we're going to really struggle to get your hook in and to work the yarn into them. And also it will change the tension of your armhole as well. So don't pull tight, just give it some space. Don't, um, don't fight with it, which I know is really tempting and I have definitely done myself when I was first starting to use slip stitches for things like this for shaping. So just give the yarn some space. And if you feel like you are tightening up, then just loosen your hands off, stop what you're doing, put everything down, give your hands a bit of an exercise and then go back to it and see if your tension is slightly looser. But if you are starting to get um, frustrated with it or cross with it, you will definitely get tighter. So, um, so if that is happening, then just put it in the naughty corner, put it in timeout and then come back to it. So now we should be left with the same amount of stitches as you did your extended half double crochets at the beginning. So for this size, we've got 64 stitches left. And in each of those into the back bump again, we're going to do an extended half double crochet. So make sure you've got the right number for your size. And this is a good point. If you're a fan of stitch markers, then pop your stitch markers in where the armhole shaping happens. Um, at either end. Even, I mean, the stitches, it's really obvious where they drop down, but if you just want that extra security to know that you're not going to miss it, then pop yourself a stitch marker in each of those points and you'll know when you get there that, yep, this is definitely the stitch that I'm changing at. So there's our very last stitch of row one, and then we turn and we're ready to work row two. And now row two, this is the wrong side of our work now, and all of our wrong sides and right sides will use the same stitches. So from here on out, you'll know whether you're on a right for a right for a wrong side, sorry, where uh, depending on which stitch you're using. So the beginning of row two, we're going to chain one, and then we're going to work a half double crochet into the third loop only of this first stitch. So on a half double crochet, we've got a front loop here, we've got a back loop here, where you stand it on its end and you see these V's running at you. And then if you turn it um, to face you when you're working in rows, you've got this third loop here. Now, if we were working in rounds, the third loop would be in a different place and it's all very confusing and fuddling. But basically, if you just think the first loop that I come across is my third loop in this in this pattern. So you may hear it referred to differently in other places, but don't worry, all, all you need to know for this one is that that's your third loop. And then in the next stitch, you're just going to go straight through. So you're going to use the front and the back loop there and just ignore that third loop. And you're going to work a single crochet in it. And those two stitches are what we're now going to repeat all the way up until where your armhole shaping begins. So we go again, we're going to do a half double crochet in that third loop there. And then we're going to work a single crochet into the next stitch. And then just repeat those two stitches all the way along until you get to your armhole sleeve shaping. And here we are at the last two stitches before the shaping begins. And now we see all those slip stitches that we did. We're going to work into the back loop only of each of those. And we're going to work another slip stitch into them. So just the back loop of the armhole stitches, which will be a different number depending on which size you're making. Just pop a slip stitch into each of those. And there we have the last of our slip stitches. And then we just go back to what we were doing here previously. And to start with though, we're going to start with the single crochet through the whole of the stitch here. And then we're doing a half double crochet in the third loop. And then a single crochet in the next. 
and then a half double crochet in the third loop. And you just continue those two stitches all the way along to the end of your row. Okay, so for row three, we're back to a right-sided row and we're gonna use our extended half double crochets again, but we are going to have again a sequence of two stitches to take us up to the armhole shaping. So we're going to begin by chaining one, and then in this first stitch, we're going to do an extended half double crochet, but in the back loop only. So we go right to the back of the stitch. It's always hardest on the first one, isn't it, to find out where you are. Right to the back of the stitch, do our extended half double crochet into that back loop there. And then we are going to do an extended half double crochet, but into the actual stitch of the next one. So right there in the center of the stitch, so that should be a single crochet from the um, row before. And then an extended half double crochet in the back loop of the next. And that should be a half double crochet from the row before. And then an extended half double crochet into the actual stitch of the next one. So there are two stitches that we need to repeat. And we do them all the way up until the arm shaping. Now, if you're, if you're watching this and you're making one of the children's sizes, you will probably notice that you have already stopped or possibly stopped by now. You're onto section two. So if you're doing a child size, don't worry that you haven't got as many rows in section one um, as I'm doing here. Just go with what your size of the pattern tells you to do. And here we are now at our slip stitches, and then we're ready to pop another slip stitch in the back loop only of each of them. And there we are at the end of our slip stitch section for the armhole. And we're back to our main stitch pattern again. And so for this right sided row, we're going to do an extended half double crochet in the stitch of the next one because it's a single crochet that we've come across. And then it's going to be an extended half double crochet in the back loop of the next. And you repeat those two stitches all the way to the end of your row. And so when you've completed row three, row four is nice and easy because it's just a repeat of row two. So it's our wrong sided row of a half double crochet in the third loop and then a single crochet. Repeat that through until you get to this um, armhole shaping. And then we do our slip stitches in the back loops only. And then after that, you're going to flip your sequence around and you're going to work a single crochet and then a half double crochet in the third loop only. So that will take you up to the end of row four. So if you get as far as that, and then I'll meet you back and I'll show you how we do this set, the straight section without any shaping. So now we're coming to the end of row four and we're going to be ready and we're going to turn our work. And in the pattern, we now go to section two, which is our straight area. So all we're going to be doing now, these two um, rows that we're doing next will be really familiar because we've done almost those already. We're not going to have any shaping in the middle part of our row anymore. We're going to stop that now. And it's a really lovely rhythmical mindful repeat now, now that you know what we're up to. So to begin the first row of section two, we're going to chain one, and then we're going to work an extended half double crochet in the back loop only of that first stitch. And then we're going to work an extended half double crochet into the full stitch of the next one. And then an extended half double crochet into the back loop only of the next. And so those two stitches are the repeat for the row now. So an extended half double crochet into the full stitch and then an extended half double crochet into the back loop only. And what you'll just need to be mindful of is when you get to the shaping section, to those slip stitches, to, to work through the, I mean, it doesn't really matter. If you wanted to, you could work um, through the back loop of all of them, but I would just try, if you can, to keep the pattern sequence. So work through the full stitch and then work through the back loop loop only of the next. 
So go for it and complete this row. And then I'll meet you back and you'll see just how easy the next row is and how you probably already know what it's going to be because we've got kind of an established stitch pattern here for our right and our wrong side now. So it will just follow that sequence. So go ahead, finish this row and I'll meet you back and we'll do the next one together. Okay, so here we are at the end of that row, row one of section two, and we're going to turn and we're going to work row two of section two which you already know how to do because it's a wrong sided row so we're going to chain one and then we're going to work a half double crochet into that third loop of that first stitch and then we're going to work a single crochet into the next stitch and then a half double crochet into the next stitch and so those two stitches that we have there the single crochet and then the half double crochet in the third loop that's the stitch repeat that we have now for this wrong sided row. So just go for it, work all the way along your row. And so then rows one and two that we've just worked there become the set pattern for this part because you'll see then in the pattern that you'll have um, a different amount of times to repeat that rows one and two until we get to the next shaping. I don't know why that stitch was so tricky, but it was. <laughs> So if you refer to the pattern, have a look at how many times you need to repeat rows one and two for your size. Um, go ahead and do that. And then I'll meet you back here and we will work the neckline together. Right, so here we are ready to start section three. And this is the section, we've got this great big long piece of fabric now. Um, and what we need to do now is just work for the front section. So we only need to work for this size 89 stitches, which will take us up somewhere to here. And then we will leave a gap for the neckline. And then afterwards we will fill in and we will do the other side here. So for now, know that we're gonna do 89 stitches for this size. Um, and you already know the stitch pattern because it's the pattern that we've already been using. So we've got a wrong side row here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to chain one and we're going to do that half double crochet into the third loop. And then a single crochet into the next stitch. A half double crochet into the third loop and then a single crochet and we just repeat those two um, up until you get to stitch 88 and then the final stitch the 89th stitch will have a final half double crochet in the third loop So go ahead and work. If you're making a different size and yours is longer, then do check the pattern for how many stitches you need to work up until the neckline. So there we have stitch 88, and then stitch 89 is that half double crochet into the third loop. And then we're ready to turn because we're going to leave all the rest of this for another time. And we're going to turn and we're going to carry on working and you see we have the right side facing us now. Um, so we're now going to carry on working back and forth in rows for those 89 stitches. So for the second row of section three, it's really going to be familiar because we've done it all the way up until now. We're going to chain one and then we're going to work an extended half double crochet into the back loop of that first stitch. And then an extended half double crochet into the full stitch of the next one. And we just repeat those two until we get to the last stitch. Now here we are at the last stitch and we're going to go through the back loop and work our extended half double crochet there. And so that's the right sided row that we've worked then for section three. So now all you need to do is have a look at the pattern and see how many times it tells you to repeat those two rows for section three. For the size I'm making, it tells me to do 26 rows. So work your however many rows you need to. I'll do my 26 and then meet me back here and I'll show you how we do the next part. 
Right, so once you've worked your um, rows that it says for this front section here, so I've got 26, um, you will have a very strange shaped thing. <laughs> it will be a big rectangle on this side and then you'll have a funny long strip sticking out the other side. And so what this is going to be, this is going to be the back. And we basically need to mirror what we've done here for these 26 rows along here but we're going to leave a gap for where the neck will be. So this will become your neckline. And what we're going to do is work from here upwards, then that's going to make the back panel and it will match this one. So what we need to do is find the wrong side facing us. And we're basically going to skip some stitches here and then join and then work exactly the same as we did for this side. So for the size we're making here, we're going to skip the next 11 stitches. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And we're going to join to the next stitch along. And then the pattern repeat is one that you already know because we've literally just done it here. And you're going to join and we're on a wrong side. So we're going to chain one to get us going. And then we're going to work a half double crochet in that third loop and then a single crochet in the next stitch. A half double crochet in the third loop and then a single crochet in the next. And we carry on working that all the way till the end. And in the very last stitch, you'll get another half double crochet in the third loop only. So go ahead, now you'll see in the pattern, it's written exactly the same way as this front panel section was. And so you just need to do that many rows again. Um, and your right side rows, I should say, shouldn't I actually? The right sided rows, remember that's an extended half double crochet in the back loop, and then an extended half double crochet in the full stitch up until you get to the last one and it will be a back loop only one again. So go ahead and work the amount of rows that tells you to in the pattern for your size um, and make this back panel. Um, and then I'll see you back at the end of that row and we will pop the other side on because all we're going to then do is mirror this side over on here and we'll join here and you'll magically get this hole for your neckline without having to do any crazy seaming or anything. So go ahead, finish this back panel and I'll see you back here. Okay, so here we have finished that section and we have now this very strange looking um, piece of fabric. Um, we have a join over on this side and then we have two uh, flappy bits here. One is your front and one is your back. And so what we're now going to do is we are going to chain 11 and join to the other side. And so once you've done that chain 11, we're going to slip stitch into that very first stitch here. And then we're going to break our yarn and pull it through because what we'll need to do now is turn the whole thing to the wrong side because what we've done there is joined up the two basically so that we can now start working in long, long rows across um, and do that other second straight section. So if you want to turn your work over to the wrong side facing and we'll need to find the very first stitch of the row here, of the wrong side facing. And so what we'll be able to do now is work along the whole of the garment, including these 11 stitches here that we've just made for the neckline, and then all the way along the other side as well. So now this should be all nice and